Do you see his nice lightning bolt? <laughs> oh my god, is that supposed to be his personality? Yeah! Are you a girl? My life. Did you build this? Oh, yes, of course I built it. Hey you guys, what? good morning. All right, so this week I thought that I might bring back the week in my life videos because everybody has abandoned me. My sister has gone to Colorado and Shane and Andrew, they're editing. So I thought in this week's video, I could attempt to make a catio, which is essentially a pat, a cat patio for Cheeto. It's like a shark cage in nature. Yep. Yeah. Okay, before I get into the cat patio, let me take you back a month or so to when I introduced Cheeto to the cat pack. Self-named by me. Friday, Friday. Garrett got me this cat backpack. Like Cheeto bonding. Because, Uno, you gotta get off the island. Uno's like, put me in the back. So the, there's something about Cheeto, whereas every time we go outside, he just stares at us. Whether I'm playing fetch with Uno out front, or if we're out back, he just sits at the window and wishes that he could be part of the party. So I've been like contemplating building him a cage outside that he could kind of just like hang out in the cage while we're out there. But Garrett <laughs> came through and gifted me with a cat back Pack, which now I think if he likes it, I'll bring him on the walks with us. I'll take him out back. He's here because usually he meows when you put him in like his cage. Yeah, he's kind of into it here. Hold on, let okay, me put it on. Let me put it on. Careful. I'll hold it so you, he doesn't fall. <laughs> All right, Cheetah, let's go out back. And your shirt's zipped up. Yep. Hi. <laughs> the only disaster would be falling. Oh. <laughs> Cheetah, you get to finally go outside. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know how he feels about it. I guess the only issue is like, I can't see what's going on back there. Like oh, he's observing for sure. That is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. I could put him on a chair. See, Cheeto, hi! <laughs> Jade, my little baby! Hi, Cheeto! Well, he's usually sitting in that window all sad. You could do like squats and stuff with Cheeto. He gets to see the promised land. Do you like this Cheeto? Aww. <laughs> if you got your cat used to this, yeah, this is probably an, a good way to travel with your cat. <laughs> Everyone would look at you. Imagine putting that in the security line. <laughs> like, sorry, this has got to come to me. Cheeto, you can finally see the new car. Oh, yes. I can feel every time. Wow, it's quite the interesting aesthetic. <laughs> yeah, it's quite a statement. This is like really crazy cat lady vibes. Yeah, that's gonna be me soon. Today, I thought we could make the pumpkin chocolate chip cookies that I talk about what seems like every year, but I wanna make them because it will feel festive. All right, I'll leave the recipe uh, in the description section below, um, but let's, you know, get started. I'm very fashionable, so here's my OOTD. All my animals are very curious about what I'm wearing and where I'm going. Uh, I get a new Christmas sweater like once every four years, and I finally got a new one after so many of my family members made fun of me for wearing the same gray and white snowflaked one for ever. Let's go. Oh, everything I need right in one area. Okay, I need one can of pumpkin. This looks legit. I also need, ooh, should I do dark chocolate or milk chocolate? On my way home, I found the cutest little lake. I'm not sure I'm supposed to be here because it's kind of gated, but the gate was wide open, so I just wanted to show you how cute it is. Oh gosh. 
<laughs> okay, I didn't get a tripod first. I feel like every time I cook, I'm drinking wine, but it's just because I feel like it enhances my abilities. I've got my mixing bowl back out and we're about to pop off. Today's co-host will be Cheeto. Will you give me a kiss, Cheeto? Oh. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Like you just did book work. Not into it. They would never understand. I went to go get my camera and literally every time I leave the house, I come back and it's only the small trash cans that don't have lids in like the bathrooms in my office. But honey, it's like the one thing that she does that makes her like, it's like her one bad habit. She'll go through the trash and like grab anything and ev God damn it, Cheeto. She'll grab anything and everything, bring it out of the little trash can and chew it up. But like, she won't ever do it if we're home, so it's just like when she gets anxious. So I need to work on her with that. Cheeto! I will admit that I am getting pretty confused on tablespoons and teaspoons. Personally, I think teaspoons should be T-E-A, so it's like very clearly tea spoons. Tablespoons could be the TBS. Whenever tablespoons and teaspoons were created, there was a large mishap. one cup of sugar, such an insane amount. And then we have to do another cup of brown sugar, which is another insane amount, and two full sticks of butter, really making me question how many of these I can actually put in my body after they're cooked. But you know, let me live once. Mm. Oh, I love brown sugar. Oh gosh. Okay, and the time has come to add the chocolate chips, which is personally my favorite part. Oh, 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 Okay, so I think it's Shutterfly. They sent us, look at how cute. They sent us a whole bunch of stuff with Shane and I's face on it. And even some, oh! the first batch is done. Let's see if these bad boys are ready. Ooh, I'm thinking they can use just a couple more minutes. But they are looking delicious. I'll break one open for you. Okay, so it's perfectly done on the top, a little browned on the bottom. We break her open. Oh. oh my God. They're literally exactly as I remember them and could not be more perfect. Oh. I heard Cheeto making all this noise in the other room and I started screaming at him because he always messes with the furniture. Like if he wants to get a scratching out, sometimes he'll do it to my couches and it drives me absolutely nuts. Whoa, hello. Uh, but this company actually sent us this cute little box and look at, he was just playing inside of his box. They even gave him a cute vinyl sticker that says, Cheeto, up here Cheeto. Hi Cheeto. I can put this inside your patio once you get it. Ow! Ow! Ow, you little savage. Oh my hell. Cheeto!
<laughs> Can we take a picture without you clawing me? Can we say hi? Okay, I gotta go check on my cookies. Okay, they turned out perfect. Oh my gosh, look how beautiful they are. Yum. Okay, the judge is here. I have made... <laughs> Wait, did you try these last year? Do you remember what they are? I can't remember. I definitely made yeah, them. These, this looks familiar. Okay, they're pu you're not a pumpkin person though, huh? Uh, depends what it is. Well, it's a pumpkin chocolate chip cookie. Yeah, but I'm so hungry right now. I can't oh my gosh. Feel it just went. Oh. <laughs> are you hiding? It's I'm literally a pumpkin person right now. Sorry, I'm so fat and ugly. Don't uh, show me. Okay, stop. well, what if I show you from this not, angle? I'm editing, stop. I'm ugly and fat. Oh my this gosh. This feels like an actual like, cloud. <laughs> Look at this. Well, did you get any beer roll of the softness? Oh, I thought you know you pick yes. it up and it's like no, this is like they're perfectly it's spongy. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Okay, they're my favorite cookies oh. in the whole world, but they are specific. They're very pumpkiny. Mm. You don't mm. have to pretend. Mm. No, I'm not pretending. No. Just when I'm like, oh, this is a little too pumpkiny, the chocolate chip jumps in, and it's like, no, it's not. They taste healthy. What? They're not healthy at all. <laughs> Two sticks of butter, oh so God. much sugar. No. What's this video? Are you just making? <laughs> oh, I'm just vlogging. You know. I'm actually gonna make a catio though, like a cat patio for Cheeto. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really losing it over here. No, it, honestly, <laughs> cold milk with these, it's it's over. Oh, well, thank you. All right. Yeah. Now, now we eat tender greens. Please sponsor us. I don't know how they sponsor Dan. I, I know! It's Sunday, Sunday, head to church on Sunday. Aw, everybody's having fun outside. And Cheeto's so sad. Poor Cheeto. Oh no, Cheeto, you can't go out there. If only there was a way for you to go out there. Maybe there is. Maybe there is. Thank gosh, it's Monday. And we're back. Okay, so I actually ended up ordering a catio. No, don't drag me. After reevaluating, I didn't think my DIY Home Depot dad skills were ready to full on work with lumber. So I did purchase one. I still don't know where it's gonna go yet, but it just arrived. So let's start this build and then figure out what we need for the inside. <laughs> Okay, so I bought a drill for times like these, but it literally just took me 15 minutes of YouTubing how to freaking change the head of this. So I think we're in motion. We've got our first shelf for inside down. Three hours later, we have a final product and I'm so happy that I didn't venture into doing this myself because even with all of the parts and instructions, it still took forever, but I am very excited about the final product. I love how it turned out. Ah, I gotta get some fun things for the inside. <laughs> Look who just walked up. Welcome to my catio. Oh my God. Well, I have to figure out a place to put it. Obviously that's temporary. It took me three hours to build. <laughs> Going up, going up on a Tuesday. The day has finally arrived where I'm decorating the catio. I went to Home Depot and got legitimate fake grass for the base of it. And I went to the pet store and got so many pet toys. I also got him like a cute little cat leash to be able to walk him in and out of his play area. So I'm gonna set all this up and reveal the catio to Cheeto. I hope he likes it. And we're finished. Uno literally cannot be more jealous. He has no idea that it's not for him yet. I have left it here for the time being just because I want him to feel a part of everything. And I know it's not like aesthetically the cutest in the patio, but it doesn't look that horrible either. And now that there's fake grass in there, I think it's pretty cute. So let me give you a little tour of the inside. So now I have all this cute grass that I just got from Home Depot, a water bowl 
table, a little bed, some more toys. I put a toy up on the top shelf. And it's just like a little play sanctuary for him. Morgan's about to be here, so we'll introduce Cheeto to his new catio in a second, but I think he's gonna love it. Morgan is back from her trip. Okay, Cheeto, it's time to see your pet enclosure. You ready? Come on. It doesn't have understand. a specific home yet. It's out there, but it looks like out the bird where? cage. Is that it? Yeah. It's so you can hang out on the patio with us. That looks like a parakeet at the zoo. <laughs> oh, well, maybe I could get like a bird. Like put your peanut butter on your finger and stick it in the cage. Look at him. He's like, what's going on, kids? How is he going to get out there? Well, oh, are you going to build a tunnel? I'm glad you asked. Here, will you hold this for a second? Once I find a permanent location, I might build a tunnel. Right now, I'm testing out spots, so I got him an appropriate size. Where did he go? There you are, Cheeto. Here we go. Too bad Cheeto doesn't like cookie or they could play in there together. Do you see his nice lightning bolt? <laughs> oh my god, is that supposed to be his personality? Yeah! Are you a girl? Okay, I got you a leash. And then maybe he'll want to start walking too. Who knows? The possibilities are endless. <laughs> I mean, he doesn't hate it. Let's leave the dogs inside so that they don't take over Cheeto's moment. Stay. Sorry, dogs. Stay. Oh. Okay, oh. Cheeto. He's like, whoa. I have you a pet enclosure over here. Come here. Oh my god, he's so excited. That's true. He always looks at the door and just wants to come out. Well, that's why I built him this. Oh. Come here. Come here. Look what I got for you. Here's your little pet enclosure. Oh, there's grass in it. Well, yeah, I went to Home Depot and got fake grass. Did you build this? Ow. Yes, of course I built it. No way. Has he been out here before? Out here? No, this is the first time. This is time. his first time? Yeah. He should love it. Oh. I mean, I think he's probably like, why am I outside? Ow! <laughs> My foot got stuck on the mouse toy. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Cheeto, I spent so much time Mouse on my traps. Oh, oh no, now he's oh, starting he's to look boring. around. Now he's excited. The Siberian wolf's first time outside since 1940. Oh gosh, Cheeto. If I want this, you can get out either. <laughs> oh no, yeah, that's good. Good luck now. <laughs> this is really powerful. <laughs> You should sleep in here. Oh, I'll sleep in here for yeah. 24 hours. Oh my gosh, this is your next 24 hour <laughs> challenge. Look, we're here. Come on. Oh. oh my god. Oh my god. Hi. Back to bed for you. Oh, hello, Cheeto. So I'm thinking I'll make a tunnel from the house to this so he can come in and out whenever he <laughs> <What>? wants. <laughs> well, people do oh. like cat doors. Oh my god. Head is in the bowl. Oh. Where did you buy this? Online. Like on Amazon? Boyfair.com. I think he'll be a lot more confident when he knows how to get in and out from the house. Now I want out, but <laughs> it locks from the outside. No. You want out? Is oh, yes. What you want? <laughs> oh my god, I have so much power right now. This is like when you lock your sibling outside when it's like snowing and they're like banging on the door, but your parents aren't home, so no one can hear their screams. For Gio, this is like getting a new apartment. Yes. You're gonna have to get some brandy if you wanna keep up the rent. <laughs> so far the cat tunnel's a hit. I like it because I can fully all the way stand up in this thing. <laughs> Maybe he doesn't love it as much as he's going to. Well, I think it has to grow on him. Right. I think I'm gonna have to build his own entrance so that he can come in and out as he pleases and it's not like, oh, I'm being put somewhere I have to stay. Well, I can't say I was expecting this. <laughs> I thought you meant like something with a few shelves. Oh. Maybe like one toy. I didn't think there'd be like a whole chicken coop. His first time seeing it, he responded pretty well. Well, he's also not used to being outside. No, but he looks outside all day, every day. I don't know if this is just more of a tease though. Is it like now I'm outside? <laughs> can't like roam through those plants like a jungle cat. I'll update you once I give him an entryway from the house. It won't be in this video, but it will be coming up soon. I thank you very much for watching. <laughs> is, that, is it a part two part series? No. Part two, thinking. drilling a hole in my house. <laughs> no, I'm gonna have a professional do that. But Ooh, I'll do it. Hope you enjoyed my solo uh, weekly vlog. I'll see you. Yeah, what have you done all week? Oh gosh, I'm, I hope you made it this far. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I hope there was Krispy Kreme. No, but there were pumpkin chocolate chip cookies. <laughs>